In video tutorial two, we created a table with the table wizard, but we didn't place any data in it. In this tutorial, we want to fill that table with the data from our calc file, but this time, instead of typing in all the data by hand, we're going to look at how to copy and paste our data into the database table. The first thing I want to do is make a copy of the table we used last time. So I'm going to right click, select copy, and paste. Now I'm going to rename this to make this ODB03 and take off the copy. Let's open up that calc file again. And on our database, we created an ID column here for all of our employees. So I'm going to insert one here. We'll call this ID, but we don't need to put anything in it because that column will be auto-populated. We'll also make a quick note that each row going across is for one employee and the columns going up and down are the fields. So I'm going to come down to the bottom corner, select all my data going up to the top, right click and copy. Now I'm going to open up our ODB03 and I'm not going to open up the employees table that we created. I'm going to right click on it and select paste. We see here the name is the employees table. Let's click next. We don't want to copy over our source ID, but we want everything else to be copied over. And we'll finish this by clicking create. It doesn't look like anything happened, but when I open up my employees table by double clicking it, we see all our data is inside this table. One thing odd about this table is it all looks bold. Looking back at our spreadsheet, we had some bold in our title here. And when I copied that over, it made everything bold in our table. We have 30 records, 0 through 29. Let's add another record. Going to go back to the calc file, and I'm going to select a single row, this one here, Donna Lee. Copy. I'm going to close the table again. Going to right click on it. Paste. We see same as before. We want to append the data. Use the first line as column names. This time we don't have column names, so I'm going to uncheck that. Clicking on next. We're going to uncheck this column and let this one autofill and click create. Double clicking to open and now we see we have 31 records. It added in Donna Lee and none of it is bold anymore. Coming back to our calc file, this time I'm going to select a row and make it bold and now I want to select that bold row and two more. Copy. And we're adding white, brown, and Lee again. So I'm going to paste. Again, I don't have a first line of column names. Clicking next, taking off our column, and create double click in and we see our data is bold once again. So this is showing that if we have anything bold that we're copying in, it makes our entire table bold. We now have 34 records. Now I just want to remove the bold. I don't want to add in any more records. This time I'm going to select another one. I'm going to select Patricia Anderson doing copy we can close our table. I'm going to paste into this. 
and this time I'm going to say use the first column as column names. I only have one so it shouldn't add anything in. I'll click next and here again we see that this is the data we want to enter but we're telling it that they're column names so we shouldn't add in any records but we should be able to remove the bold from our table. Let's create it. Double clicking shows we did not add another record we still have only 34 and we remove the bold from our table. I want to make a copy of our employees table so I'm going to right click copy and right click paste and instead of calling this employees 2 which it's suggesting I'm going to call this start date at bottom clicking next going to move everything over but I'm going to take out the start date moving that back now hitting that right arrow to include it again but places it at the bottom let's click next it's asking us if we want to change any of this information I'm going to leave it as it is and click create opening this table shows us that we have the same table but this time our start date is on the far right now I'm going to delete all this data out of here selecting it all right clicking delete rows we still have a couple more so now we've got the empty table once again I have our spreadsheet filled with data that I want to copy over this time so it doesn't turn bold I'm going to select it all bold everything now remove my bold now select just the data I want to bring over copy and remember here our start date is between gender and end date so I'm going to paste it into our start date at the bottom I'm going to append the data clicking next want to remove our ID and I'll point out right now that these two buttons are for our checkbox all or none and I want to remove the ID again and I want to move start date down to the bottom so that's what these arrows do these will move up and down whichever field I have selected and I want to move start date down to the bottom so it moves it from my source data to the bottom row on our table. Let's click create. Opening up that table shows us that our start date is on the far right just as we wanted. Looking at our employee ID it starts at 34 because when we copied the table it used up all our auto values through record 33 if I really want to start this at zero again I'm going to select it come down to the bottom delete these now to reset my numbering to zero I had to clear out the table now I'm going to edit that table select our employee ID and turn auto value to no save the table yes I want to save those changes now I want to edit it again select an employee ID and turning auto value back on to yes save now when I grab the data from our spreadsheet again copy paste and we're pasting into employees start date at the bottom I need to uncheck ID select our start date move that back down to the bottom 
and create. Double clicking to open shows that our employee starts at employee number zero and our start date is on the far right, just as we want. Thank <laughs> you.